Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We're playing Food, the Gargoyle Ice Elementalist of Hepliocalcana for Diesel Robin Season 5. And we have almost all of the runes now. We're missing just three. Um, Noleg and Sarah Bob's runes in Pandemonium, and uh, the rune guarded by all the dang mummies in Tomb. Uh, so I talked, I think last time we had this character, about whether... Who was going to orb run Tomb, if anybody? Uh, I think we're not yet totally decided on this, um, but leaning towards uh, I should try to do it. Mara Jade, what a, I don't know who that, what that refers to. Uh, what are we going to rename this guy? Uh, rename, got to pick a new name. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's name him Wheels. First time we had this guy, we named him Pleasing Fungus. Sec and the last time, we'll name him Wheels. So there you go. Seems fair. Um, so we're leaning towards I should do it. Um, just because I have Orbrun Tomb before, have a little more practice. Um, the good news is we sort of don't have to like commit immediately. Wait, was that an exit? Oh, it is. I could have just left. That's what I wanted to do. Um, we don't have to commit immediately. Um, uh, what I would like to do first amnesia yes please is um just go looking for all right what do i have that's cost me the most spells that i'm never going to cast sticky flame right yeah um what i'd like to do is at least find what oh a teleport trap at least find uh, i'd like a wand to teleport because you need to be able to teleport a lot of times i'd like some more scrolls of recharging it's a wand of acid um, I don't, I don't think I ever want the Scepter of Asmodeus, but it seems a little bit rude to just drop it in Pandemonium when the rest of the team apparently wanted it. Um, scroll of Vulnerability, get out of here. Um, arguably, I don't really need the Potion of Haste either, honestly, but, uh, Wand of Acid, this one's probably better. Wand of Acid with seven charges. So let's drop our current Wand of Acid and pick out this new one. Anyway, so I want to like go digging through a Zig, uh, basically, looking for loot. Um, and I got to fight my way out of Pan before I can do that. Um, hopefully, I can do this without uh, running into any named Pan Lords when they're runes, because then I really will have to commit to whether we're running tomb this episode, or this mission, I should say. Certainly not this episode. We've got a bit of grinding to do before we do that, I think. Um, God, this hexer is overpowered. Look at all that confusion. Um, but if uh, if I end up, say, finding Noleg's realm, I'll have to commit and either pick up his rune, therefore starting the pan mission, or not pick up his rune and give up on ever completing the pan mission. Um, if I start the pan mission, I can't change my mind and... What? What a weird vault. I assume that's like a demonic rune vault, maybe? Um, which, if you already have the demonic rune, um, always has an exit out of pan, I believe. So that's something we could take advantage of, perhaps, is a way out through there. Normally, um, I would leave such an obviously dangerous vault alone. It's not, you know, if I'm in Pan, is there an exit or what? I don't see one. If I'm in Pan, I'm usually, like, in a position where, like, I'm willing to pick up any runes I can find. Like, that's the reason you go to Pan, generally. But in this case, it's not actually why I'm in Pan. I just realized I didn't do any kind of character review uh, when I joined this character. Let's do that now. We got, okay, yes, still good items, decent resists, fine. We're training throwing, that's right. I did look at that. And I wanna also train charms. I don't use throwing a lot myself, but it is pretty good. So like, sure, we can train it if you guys want. On the other hand, I am the last guy to play, so. I should consider whether 
If if I am orb running tomb, I'll be the last one to play. I mean, throwing silver javelins at orbs of fire, you know, no doubt that's pretty cool. But uh, I think that's a fair ways in the future, so I'm gonna just ch focus on getting charms and necromancy. Um, and I'll haste myself. Wow, what all happened there? A lot of stuff happened on that turn. Anyway, normally I'm like, yeah, I, I, I don't, I'm not in any hurry to like get out of pan because I went to pan looking for runes, right? But here I would like to get out of pan because I don't want to encounter a pan lord uh, with a rune because it will con commit me to one course of action or the other. Whereas I would like to leave that. So I was thinking, uh, okay, I'll go clear all that. Um, I'll clear all that uh, if there's an exit there. Oh, I found a teleport trap. That's actually quite handy. If there's an exit there, I would have liked to find it, right? But I looked and saw there was no exit, so no sense risking uh, fighting all that mess. We're just going to go back to looking for exits. Or, well, actually, I should maybe be a little bit less keen. Well, it's too late now. A little bit less keen to take exits to another realm of Pan because every realm of Pan I explore was another one. Wheels, could you come? Good boy. Um, every realm of Pan I explored was another realm where it was possible we could run into a Pan Lord and be sad about it. Don't die, Wheels. We idealized him and he seems to be okay now. Star cursed masses. Don't let them. Don't let them get away from you. Either like in actual physical space or just in terms of like. Uh, whoa, that's a pretty good item. What exactly do I want? Armor, jewelry, wand. I think it's probably wand actually. What wands are we still only wand to telly? All right, all right. Give me, give me a wand to teleport, will you? That doesn't seem like too much to ask. We did it. Uh, I should have freed up space before I read it, <laughs> because now there's some chance that on the one turn I drop this, whatever it is I'm about to drop. What is all this garbage? Wow. Uh, there's already a Disc of Storms, like some, yeah, all right, I'm going to drop this Disc of Storms. Um, okay, good. Great, so that's a, a big... A big part of what I wanted this this uh, mission, I guess, is a wand of teleport. Um, it's just like pretty good for tomb. Oh, we we forced an exit. That's nice to be able to teleport like mad. So actually, we could maybe go do that now. Um, but I don't want to, um, because orb running tomb is like a really hard thing, and you want all the help you can get. Um, so we should be able to get some improvement out of a ziggurat. In fact, why? I would rather train like more in evocations than throwing. I think. But uh, necromancy. Okay, so there is an necronomicon. If we really wanted to, we could learn necromutation. Of course, it would take a large amount of experience, but that's what Pan is for, right? So, uh, we could, uh, on the other hand, like, the thing is, the one time I wore Brand Tomb, it was as a demon spawn. And I had to, I wore Brand Tomb because it was like a, a bonus points, much like it is here, kind of thing. And so I just ground up a bunch of experience in Pandemonium until I could cast Necromutation, and then I went in, like, I, you don't get tormented, right? But, um, as a gargoyle with, um, is this character with the Amulet of the Four Winds? No. But as a gargoyle with access to a ton of, uh, well, gargoyles have torment resistance, and if we need to, we can get more pips of negative energy resistance. 
Is this one with the macabre finger necklace? I guess not. Okay. Fine. So, uh, we may be able to, like, a gargoyle with negative energy resistance and regen might be in pretty good shape. And might, you might not need necromutation. And there's a bunch of other stuff I would like anyway. Um, of course, you normally don't need necromutation to do tomb. It kind of helps, but uh, normally you can just like do a lot of stair dancing and rest a lot. And um, you can't really do that when you're orb running. Uh, you, are, you want to be in and out as fast as possible. All right, let's drop um, at least the Scepter of Asmodeus. Staff of Dispatter actually could be pretty good. Drop the Rod of Shadows. What else am I not going to want in a Zig? Probably this. Um... The rest of this all looks pretty reasonable. That leaves me only space for three different slots. Let's drop the javelins. Let's drop all of these, actually. Screw you, throwing. I just don't know how to use throwing properly, so. In we go. It's very green. I don't think I've been in a green zig before. How do I go down? Where's the... Hello? Oh, it's here. I see. Oh, we got a new box of beasts. That's cool. All right. I thought it said Wheels the Giant there briefly. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. But no. Another sack of spiders, right? I thought I saw. Indeed. It's kind of nice that they stack, but on the other hand, it makes it like really easy to get a lot of them. Two different copies of the same book there, or just two different cop books with the same description. The Tome of Slavery. Abjuration's pretty good. I'll carry this with me. Or actually, yeah, we already have abjuration. And freezing birds. This I do not care for at all. So we want to just go no deeper. Not I'm not planning to clear this thing. I'm planning to go deep enough that, like, uh, I can handle stuff without any real concern, but then not deeper than that. Hmm. Ring of Strength? I don't think I want that. Well, yeah, no, I don't. Okay, and I want Disintegration we have off of Auto Pickup for some reason, but I guess that's fine. Aha, a tomb floor. So we can practice. Um, fighting tomb monsters. I mean, this is a small number of tomb monsters, so it shouldn't be any real threat at all. And indeed, I'm just alternating between tab and space, basically. Ooh, what is the, this? <laughs> Stop, buttons, jeez, I can't press buttons. What is this? Plus zero of, it's garbage, okay. I saw on Reddit today a guy who's like, I have this plus 23 crystal plate mail, but it's kind of making it hard to cast spells. Is it worth it? And it's like, what? Plus 23 CPA, are you kidding me? Wear it. Pretty good item in my opinion. So I, in my experience, it's usually around tomb like 14 that I start to real, not tomb 14, holy cow, that's a nightmare in, a, in as few words as possible. But rather around uh, zig 14, where I realize like, wow, I don't belong here. I should leave. Uh, let's say Amnesia, like, Dazzling Spray. No, Throw Icicle. Nothing else we need here. Anyway, so maybe maybe I can remember to leave a little bit before that point. <laughs> you know, that would be a little, a little nice. 
regen. Yeah, Hellions and Tone Armenters, not, not a big concern here. How are our mutes like? I should have maybe cured out of this. This is not this is not a a great mutation set. Oh well. We'll probably find some cure mute in here. Put on this ring. It's junk. Put back on the ring of whatever's on M. There's a lot. Vampire's tooth, no thanks. I don't know, guys. There's a nice statue. Look out. Um, we don't have any resist corrosion. That's interesting. Let's haste up. The acid blobs are a bit of a, a threat. Nice confused, though. How are you doing, wheels? You're doing fine. Okay. You don't need any help. Yeah, okay. Um, and they only only just like yesterday, I think, or maybe a, two days ago, the the feature whereby um, jellies can eat items uh, was taken away, except for Jiva followers. So the Zigs no longer have like special jelly proof vaults, for example. And uh, we just don't have to worry about the eating items. It was kind of a weird mechanic that. Encouraged sort of unfun play. Um, plus eight rod of inaccuracy. I don't love rods of inaccuracy myself, but like they're good. I'm, I'll carry it. Someone else might want it. And we'll see royal jelly. Very suiting, suitable. Aquabs more. Uh, of these um, corrosion threats. Let's haste. Jeez, I should have done that. Oh, we're actually already contaminated. Whatever. I messed up by coming down here without hasting, but I'm not going to fix it uh, by choosing not to haste. All right, I messed up by coming down here without resting, I should say. We're quite badly corroded, actually. Aquab plants are a thing. Um, they're confused. Wheels, you're a genius. Here, get I get idealized, I guess. Do better at confusing them. These aquabs are like seriously messing me up. I'm trying to kill them off before it can get worse. All right, and this looks like a crypt floor. It could be tomb, but I don't think so. Let's see, am I adjacent to any Aquab plants? Yes, I am. Let's attack it, I guess. I did idealize him, right? Yes. And he's hasted himself, so that's nice. How many Aquabs are left? Two. All right. So what I would like to do at this time, I think, is Galubria back to the exit, or to the entrance, I, su I suppose I should say. Out of sight of the Aquabs. And uh, fight stuff out here. Give myself a chance to rest a little. Yeah, the Ancient Champion is like not actually that big a problem, I think. Wheels, how are you doing? Heavily? No. He's not even hurt. He's just like, he's a champ. Let's cross some heal wounds here. We are rather low on health, and in particular, we're also quite corroded. Is there anything clever I can do to this ancient lich? I could use the scroll of holy word, but I don't think that's necessary. Let's use a sack of spiders, actually. All right, we simplified the problem a little bit. Oh, how did this guy, he got confused and then just walked away. I thought I was attacking him, but it turns out he was gone. All right, well, 
now that he's confused, I don't know, I guess we'll focus on the Ancient Lich. There's another, what is up there, a Revenant? Okay. Wheels is destroyed, uh-oh. All right. Let's try to kill this ancient lich before the revenant can like heal him with a ghostly fireball or whatever they do. We got him. I think that was the main issue. There's still some threats here for sure. What spells do I have that would help? Repel missiles, jeez. Don't let that one fall off. Got the ancient champion down. Haste is running out. I'm not too thrilled about. Let's kill off the Soul Eaters. We're kind of making it easier for other monsters to heal, I think. We probably should teleport here. I can't believe we're already at Zig 9. When did that happen? Yeah, we have a lot of teleport. Let's just... Um, let's use some. Yeah, we're only a little blurry, though. Walk away, quaff another heal wounds, and, like, attack a bit? No, probably just keep walking away. Recast regen. There we go. We got a little breathing room from the monsters, mostly. I kind of thought this floor was a little bigger. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure this is a better tele better spot to be than where we were. I just want the corrosion to wear off. That's what I need. And I need more haste. <laughs> but if I do, we're going to get contaminated some more, which I'm not really a fan of. <sighs> All the monsters who are left are just totally trivial, but we're so low on health and we're so corroded that we can't exactly kill them the way we should be able to. Like, I think that a big part of the problem is that I forgot to bring resist corrosion into the zig because, like, when is that ever a problem? But, you know, aqua plants are a thing. Um, just looking at the loot here. You know, it's the wrong thing to be looking at, but that's what I'm looking at. Um, wands. Maybe a wand would help or something. Yeah. Let's use a lamp of fire. Not a wand, I know. On the revenant. Did it work? Yeah, he's on fire. Kinda. And give me also, like, uh, another sack of spiders. And another sack of spiders, okay. So we're getting a lot of these low hit point warnings, but we're only losing like one or two HP. All right, that was like 10. Let's cloth the heal wounds. How's the Revenant doing? He's badly damaged. Um, could you guys work on him? That'd be great. And I can kill the Jangchi, that'll help. Kill this ghoul. I really wish wheels would come back. Hmm. Clop another heal wounds. I don't like where this is going. Not at all. Ugh. What happened to me on that turn? That caused me all that damage. The Reaper and the Phantasmal Warrior hit me. Yeah. <sighs> 
I mentioned to Wheels that I'm in a bit of a pickle here. Uh, the main candidate plans I have are Heal Wounds, Blink, and Haste. Um, last time we healed Wounds, we lost HP on the turn, but I don't think that's going to happen every time. I could actually read... So, I could read a scroll of Blinking with Blurry Vision 1. That costs me, like, an extra half a turn before it works. Or I could just cast a Blink... But I think there's a lot of places I could land that would not be very good. Hmm. Holy word, actually. How badly injured are all these guys? Hmm. It would probably kill the ghoul and the revenant. Probably the reaper, too. But again, it costs me half a turn. And if I'm going to spend half a turn reading a scroll, I think I would rather just blink to the exit. So I'm not so fond of that plan, actually. Does Wheels have any advice? Mm, doesn't seem to. He might have walked away. I think I should probably just heal wounds, and then once I get, like, that might cause me to lose HP on a turn, but I think it's more likely to gain HP. We have good evasion and armor, or decent evasion and good armor anyway. Alright, we gained a little ground there, and I'm now going to blink out of this whole area. Yes. Yes. Okay. We succeeded in blinking. Um, is there any of this loot that I'm like, that I absolutely must pick up? Beneficial mutation would be a little nice, I guess. The other question is, do I blink to a downstair or to a zig exit? And I think a zig exit is fine. We're getting, we, we have the main thing we wanted, which was teleport, a wand of teleport. So, I don't think there's any really pressing reasons to keep pressing onward. I'm just going to blink all the way down here. No. I can't see that place, I didn't realize. Alright, well this place I can see. Okay, nothing is in sight that can really kill me. Oh, and our corrosion got healed while we were reading the scroll. That's kind of nice. Also, somehow I became more experienced. Oh, something that was on fire died, and it caused a bunch of spectral stuff to disappear. So I think we actually killed the Revenant, believe it or not. On the turn that we blinked away. That makes sense, maybe. No, I guess not. I don't know. All right, any of this that I really, really need. I'd like to see that amulet... I'd like to grab Beneficial Mutation, and I don't think anything here is going to kill me in one turn. So I think I can take that chance. There's the Beneficial Mutation, there's the Amulet. Get A. And grab... I do have a space for this, right? I don't. Alright, forget the beneficial mutation. We want to cure out anyway. Yes, leave the zig. Don't die. Okay, that was a bit of a... A bit of a... Ooh, bleh, you know what I mean? Not a great experience. That actually could be pretty good for the Zig. I mean, what we have, not the Zig, Tomb. 
we have magic resistance and regen plus, which is nice. You know, no question there. But dismissal and negative energy resistance are both quite good for like charging through a horde of mummies. <laughs> okay, I think um, this is a long enough episode. Um, next episode we may actually do tomb. I think I think we have kind of what we need. Um, well, I guess we have to do Zot first, at least, so I guess we'll do that next. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.